Okay, how to file a bar complaint against an attorney in Oregon. Now, attorneys in Oregon and most jurisdictions need to be admitted into the State Bar Association in order to legally do their lawyering. This includes passing a test of uh, law knowledge and agreeing to abide by a code of rules or ethics. I know, pretty ironic considering how most attorneys are scumbags. If you've been involved in a case where your attorney or an opposing attorney has breached these rules of professional conduct, you can file a complaint with the Bar Association. This could result in them uh, facing sanctions. This could be them getting uh, placed on a probationary period, could be a warning, they could be temporarily suspended, or even permanently disbarred and banned from practicing law. So step one is don't listen to another attorney if they tell you to not file a complaint. I know it sounds a little uh, counterintuitive, but hear me out here. They will oftentimes tell you to not file a complaint about another attorney for two key reasons. A, the whole legal system is one big good old boys network. They don't want to rat one another out. They don't care about you because they only have to deal with you for the duration of your case. But all these other attorneys and judges, they'll have to continually interact with on a regular basis throughout the rest of their career. They don't want to create any animosity between those people. No, everything is just theater, and unfortunately, you are just the collateral, the commodity, the piggy bank. The second reason they will tell you to not worry about it when you think another attorney has violated the code of ethics is because the attorney you've been dealing with has probably violated the code of ethics too, and they don't want to start any kind of back and forth, tit for tat kind of thing where they feel like other people can start filing complaints about them. They are primarily in this to protect their own butts and take your money. Step two, make sure you have a legitimate complaint. The code of ethics they must adhere to is right here on the Oregon State Bar website, osbar.org. Let's have a look around here. Uh, This is the uh, opening page that you'll see. You go to licensing and compliance. You go to lawyer discipline, discipline home. Click on that bring up some of this and right here you see the Oregon rules of professional conduct you can click on that and it will bring this up it's actually not as long and confusing as you would think it would be it's 32 pages Uh, you can search for keywords that you think might apply to whatever your complaint is for example let's try uh, discovery here And we see there are two matches for discovery that talk about that. That's just a brief example there. So uh, I would encourage you to look through this, search some of the keywords that you think might apply to your particular situation. And there are also county bar organizations that you can research as well. Step three, get the lawyer's information. You can search for active and inactive lawyers on the website right here on the member directory. Let's say, for example, I want to look up Kate Molina. Search directory will bring up all the Molinas there. Kate Molina, City Portland. There is her bar number. Now, uh, you can see this provides you with uh, the basic information, such as uh, the firm that they work for. Uh, their contact info, and their bar number. Now, every attorney has a bar number, and this is probably the best way to identify exactly who you're making the complaint about, especially if the attorney has a common name. The OS Bar website will also list any uh, disciplinary history uh, if uh, they've taken any such action on this attorney in the past. Also, the bar numbers will probably be included on some of your court paperwork, some of the documents uh, towards the end of it there where an attorney, you know, has to swear that they, you know, provided someone else with a certain document or whatever. They're they're swearing to the motion that they're presenting or whatnot. Uh, Step four is assemble all of your thoughts. Now, I use text documents. And I add notes to them as I come across information, and I start to brainstorm with that, and then I start to lay it all out in a formal format. You know, I do this over the course sometimes of several days, weeks, months, or (laughs) even years. 
I write out the whole draft of my complaint in this text document. Then when it is time to file the complaint, I just copy and paste it to the complaint form. This allows me to be complete and thorough instead of just typing it all out as it comes to me in the moment on the actual forum. And it prevents any actual internet timeouts or problems with the state website. I mean, it would suck if you spent, you know, an hour typing out everything and then all of a sudden you lost it all because the submission didn't go through all the way or something. Uh, you want to be as specific as possible in your complaint. You don't just want to say so-and-so is corrupt or such-and-such -such is protecting an abuser. You want to specify the exact things that the lawyer did to warrant the complaint. And it helps if you reference the exact part of the rules of conduct you are saying they violated. You know, on such-and-such -such date, so-and-so told X told told judge x that blank when in reality that never happened and this person knew it never happened because blah 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 you know it helps if you have a written transcript that you can pull from to get the exact quotes uh, you'll also probably want to include your case number uh, so uh, we go back to the uh, licensing and compliance here uh, disciplinary home right here it gives you the options on what to do here it gives you a little bit more information uh, it talks about some of the uh, ethics complaints and discipline there's a short little video where they talk a little bit about it here um, you know they go into some of the um, you know some of the more common things that they have to deal with it talks about some, you know, some more of the process what happens after you file your complaints blah 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 and then you want to hit here you can either hit it there or from the previous page here. Submit an ethics complaint regarding an OSB lawyer. Uh, please note this process is not confidential. Uh, so this becomes public record. So please keep that in mind. You want to make sure that you're not uh, revealing too much of your own personal information. Um, again, it gives you more information here. File the complaint um, electronically. You can do this. You can also email them. You can also send them uh, either a printed or handwritten letter. Uh, there are no specific f forum types that you have to do to submit this. It doesn't have to be on a certain you know formatted sheet of any kind. Uh, it can just be the basic information here. So uh, you fill out your information here. You fill out the information of the attorney there. And then right here is where I copy and paste from the text document. Okay, so this is me actually filing my actual complaint here. This is not any kind of recreation or anything. So I've uh, pasted the information here into the, um, into the main body. And then this also gives you a quick chance to look it back over, make sure there's no typos. You might have to um, rearrange some of the formatting here with uh, you know some of the um, some of the paragraphs and whatnot, especially if you're copying and pasting things that came from a transcript, because those have some kind of wacky stuff here. So we can see right here that some of these answers and questions are a little awkward here from copying and pasting from the transcript. So I'm just going to look back over to this real quick here. Q stands for question, A stands for answer. This is straight from the trial here. Okay, I have double checked all the formatting and whatnot. Um, notice I have comp I included their bar numbers here and any uh, uh, AKAs. Uh, for example, Kate Molina, sometimes her, her, her actual birth name is Katharine with an A, not an E. Um, and then her uh, maiden name was Lenzer. I believe that's when she first uh, got her bar number was under that name. So you, again, I just want to make sure that this is thorough and whatnot. So you can see I've got uh, some of the information here of what had happened. I've got a whole other video here that I'm making along with this one where I talk about, um, I go into a bit more detail here about what had actually happened. But you can see that, um, you know, either of these appear to be a violation. Uh, either they withheld evidence from the defense in violation of Rule 3.4, Section A, and Rule 3.8, Section B, or they knowingly presented a witness who lied on the witness stand and did not inform me or the courts in violation of Rule 3.3, Section A, Subsections 3 and 4. And uh, you can see here down towards the bottom, I've included the actual uh, rule numbers that I'm referencing here. 
So you can see there's a spot for uh, address here, which you can also get from this here. And this is all public information here. This is not any kind of um, any kind of uh, you know private info here. I mean, they, they work for public entities. This is all on a uh, public thing here. So we want uh, the address here, 1200 First Avenue, Suite 5200. I'm just copying and pasting from this other thing here. Phone number. And this is in Portland. Nine seven two oh four. See here. Oh, I'm also going to add here. I can provide more information if needed. So, all right, uh, we are ready to file the complaint. And this is me actually filing the actual complaint here. So, catch us, submit form. And here we go. It shows you here's a copy of the information that you have submitted. A copy has, has been sent to the email you provided. And um, you can scroll down here and see everything that you uh, submitted. Uh, hopefully, it came out a little more uh, <laughs> legible than that. Again, that's why I like to get, use another document to copy and paste to. So yeah, once you um, submit this through, it takes uh, probably anywhere from a few weeks to a few months for them to uh, investigate this. They might contact you to get more information. Um, hopefully they'll contact the attorneys you're complaining about to get their point of view. Uh, hopefully they'll do a full investigation. And so you just kind of kick back and wait. But while you are waiting, talk about it. Post about your experiences to social media, specifically ones that uh, Google is friendly to, such as Facebook or Twitter or YouTube. Uh, the more you publicize this, the more other people can be aware of the unethical stunts that certain attorneys are pulling. Um, and, you know, make sure to use you know, their, their full names when you're talking about it or the variations of their names and whatnot. Um, again, you're, you're doing a public you're doing a, a public service at that point by just letting other people know about this sort of thing. So I hope this helped you out. Um, I encourage anybody to uh, file these complaints against uh, unethical scumbag attorneys, uh, especially in Oregon. If you have an interesting story about uh, you know, scumbag attorneys in Oregon, uh, specifically Multnomah County, uh, go ahead and leave a comment here about it. Uh, tell me about it. And um, if you're new to my channel, if you're not aware of everything that I've been through, I encourage you to check out some of my other videos here. Uh, I used to be a uh, video news journalist. I used to go around covering political events in the area until I was attacked by a gang, and then I stopped the gang from further attacking me, and then I was the one arrested and run through the ringer, put up on multiple felony charges. And uh, we can see here that uh, state actors uh, had to stoop to various different unethical stunts in order to convict me of 21 counts for not harming a fly. Um, so again, I invite you to check that out and thank you for watching.